So this is the Vati software. When you log into Vati for the very first time, you will see something like this. You, you can log into Vati through your computer, laptop or device, just like I have. You can log into Vati through your mobile phone itself, but you will see something like this. When you log into Vati for the very first time, you will see your name, your login credentials, your, your name, your email ID. You will see your business number, whichever number you have given us to convert to WhatsApp API, your business number will show up here. Anytime a customer sends you a WhatsApp message on this number, all WhatsApp messages will come here in the Vati platform. So you will be able to see all the incoming messages. You will be able to reply to your customers from here itself. Now in Vati, you will see four broad features. There's a team inbox, contacts, broadcast automation. We'll cover all of these in our session today. So the first feature in Vati is the team inbox. This is your inbox. Anytime a customer sends you a message, it shows up in your inbox. This inbox is also known as a team inbox because your entire team can log into one software of Vati and they can see all the messages coming into your inbox. So your entire team logs in, this becomes a team inbox. Now, second feature is contacts. This is where you can add all your contacts from your existing system. You can add it via Excel file. All your contacts will show up here. You can send broadcast messages using this tab. And of course, there's lots of automations, automatic responses you can set up. So let's talk about the team inbox. Anytime a customer sends you a message on this, your primary business number, all messages will show up here in the team inbox. When you log into RT for the very first time, you won't have any chats because you have just logged into a brand new software. But as in when customers start sending you messages, all messages will sh start showing up here in Varti. So let me give you a live example. If a customer goes to WhatsApp, let's say I'm this customer and I say, hello, and I say, what is the price of your product? So I have dropped you two messages as a customer. I sent you two messages on WhatsApp. You will notice as soon as I said, hello, an instant message was sent to me. Now I asked, hey, what is the price of your product? Instantly, a pricing message was sent to me. This is an example of an automation we have created in Vati. Anytime somebody uses the word hello, we instantly send them a sticker. Anytime somebody asks for pricing, instead of some human responding to this message, instantly an automated response was sent to them. Similarly, in your Vati software, you can create your own automation. Let's say somebody says, hi, hello. You can send them a welcome message. You can send a greeting message. Anytime somebody asks you for costing, pricing, etc., you can instantly send them a catalog, a price list. You can send them a link to your website. Whatever you want, you can send automated messages instantly based on certain keywords. We'll talk about how you can set up this automation, but very easily based on certain keywords. Anytime customer says particular word, automated response can be sent. And as you saw, as soon as the customer will send a message instantly within seconds, your response will be sent out. Now, as a customer, I have dropped you two WhatsApp messages and I instantly got two responses back. Now, what you will see in your Vati software is this. When you log into Vati, you will see earlier there were no messages here. Now, a new message has come in the team inbox from some customer X. You will see this customer said hello and the customer said, what is the price of your product? Just like the same uh, chat the customer had sent out, you will see that chat here like this. So customer says, hello, because we had set up an automation, instantly a response was sent to them. Now the customer asked, what is the price of the product? Again, there was some automation set up. So instant response was sent. Whenever there is an automation set up, the response is sent by a bot. And you will see a little bot is made over here. Bot is written over here. So whenever there is automation, a bot will reply to your customer. You will see a little bot is made over here. If there was no automation set up, your customer chat would be sitting here. Any agent, any employee would have logged into Vati. They would see a chat is sitting here. They could click on the chat and they could start chatting with this customer live from here itself. So I can start a live chat with this customer. I can say, hello. I can say, how can we help you? I can start a live chat with this customer. If they're asking for more information, I can always attach a PDF file. I can add emoji. Let's say I want to add an emoji here. I can also add a sticker if I want, just like you add on WhatsApp, I can add a sticker here. So you will see, just like you chat with your friends on WhatsApp, you can start chatting with your customer live on WhatsApp here. So originally a bot was answering this customer. You see a little bot is made over here. Now a live agent is chatting with the customer. So you can see the name of agent here. 
But when you see from the customer's perspective, customer originally sent you a message. Response was sent by a bot, but no name of bot is mentioned anywhere. Now a live agent is chatting with the customer, but no name of agent is mentioned anywhere. So for your customer, it's going to be very simple. Customer will send you a simple WhatsApp message. They will get a simple WhatsApp message in return. They don't know whether the message was sent by a bot. They don't know whether the message was sent by agent. So customer has reached out to you as a business, and now your business is replying back to them. So this is what the customer will see, and this is what you will see on your end. You will see everything. You will see whether bot had replied. You will see whether agent has replied. Name of agent mentioned here. If the customer has read your messages, they, you will see a double blue tick, just like you see on WhatsApp. So you will see the entire chat here in Wati, and you can start chatting with the customer from here itself. Once you have answered all the customer queries, what you need to do is you can mark this conversation as solved. If not, you can mark it as pending. Else, you can leave it open. You can always update the status of your conversation from here. at any point of time if you are chatting with the customer let's say the customer is asking me uh, some complaint related question they want to raise a complaint about something but i am not the complaints person i am just a sales guy i don't know how to answer the complaint query i can transfer this chat to any other person i can simply click on this option you will see all the employees that are working for you the ones that are green are online the ones that are red are offline let's say i want to transfer this chat to some other person i just click on the name of that agent automatically my chat is transferred to this new person this new agent this new person can log in they can see all the messages they can this chat is transferred to them they will start answering this customer once they are done they can mark the conversation as solved or they can transfer it back to me in the exact same way so very easily you can transfer chat from one agent to another in wati customer will never know the difference because they don't know whether they are talking to agent or bot or which agent but you can see that ticket or the chat can be transferred very easily from one agent to another so this is how you can chat with your customers you will also notice whenever a customer reaches out to you whenever you get a incoming message from a customer 24 hour clock starts you have 24 hours to reply to this customer via live chat so if you are chatting with the customer let's say i am the customer i just sent you a hi hello i want to know pricing type question you are replying to me you have 24 hours to chat with me if the customer let's say i am the customer i'm chatting with you after 20 minutes i realize that you have answered all my queries i don't want to chat with you anymore i don't want to respond as a customer i will stop responding if the customer stops responding you still have 24 hours to answer their queries and chat with them but after 24 hour period is over if there is no response from the customer if there is no activity from the customer and 24 hours have passed your entire chat is going to expire it is going to fall under the expired category once your chat is expired it will look something like this let me just give you an example when your chat expires your 24 hour clock will disappear your conversation will be marked as closed once your conversation is closed you cannot send a live chat message to the customer you can only send them a template or a broadcast message if the customer is not interested in talking to you they have not replied to you in 24 hours you can't simply send them a hi hello type message you can only send them a broadcast or a template message if they are interested in talking to you they will reply back the moment a customer replies back your conversation your chat becomes live now you can start chatting with the customer live but if the customer doesn't reply you can only send them a broadcast message even if your conversation is closed you can still see the entire conversation history but you cannot reopen the conversation on your own only the customer can reopen the chat so whenever customer replies back the chat will automatically reopen so this is the difference between an expired chat versus any open chat expired chat is all closed open chat is all live chats so incoming messages you will see on your left center panel is where you are chatting with your customer on your right you will see the customer's information so the name of the customer will be mentioned here the number they have used to message you will be shown here the region the country they have messaged from you will see a little flag you can also add more information about that customer here anything you know about them just click on this pencil icon and write mention over here you can also create notes let's say this customer is complaining about something you can make a note and say complain raised today about service so make any note you can save it whatever you want you can 
uh, create notes today maybe some agent was chatting with this customer they can create a note here maybe tomorrow some other agent is chatting with the customer they can always refer to this note later so you can create these multiple notes in the wati platform as well for your re later reference so this is the team inbox where you're chatting with all your customers very easily from one single platform if you have answered all the customer queries just mark it as solved and in that case your ticket will be closed so this is the team inbox second feature in wati is the contacts this is your contact library you can upload all your contacts into wati from one single place you can upload it via excel file add all your contacts in excel upload it all contacts will show up here in your contacts you can edit them modify them delete them whatever you want you can manually add your contacts also and if we are integrated with your backend system or software we can automatically pull your contacts into the wati platform as well Coming to broadcast, whenever you want to send a broadcast message to your customers, you will go to the broadcast option. In broadcasting, you have three things. One is broadcast history. Under history, whenever you have launched a broadcast, you will see the entire performance of the broadcast. How many messages were sent, delivered, read, failed, everything you will see here. You will see your messaging limit here as well. If you are a tier one business, your limit is 1000 customers per day. Tier 2, 10,000, tier 3, 100,000, depending on what tier business you are, you're automatically, your limit is shown over here. You can even schedule your broadcast in advance. Let's say you want to send a broadcast after 10 days. Just give us the date and time. Tell us how many people you want to send it to. Tell us when you want to send it. What is your broadcast message? And our system will automatically schedule it. Based on your date and time, we will automatically launch your broadcast. And most importantly, whenever you are sending a broadcast message, first you have to create a broadcast message and get that message approved by WhatsApp. So what you will need to do is you need to create your broadcast message. You will create a message. <clears throat> you will see it under drafts. So once you create a broadcast message, you will see it under drafts. Once you've created a draft, all you need to do is submit it. Once you submit your broadcast message to WhatsApp, they will quickly look through your broadcast. If everything is appropriate, they will approve your broadcast. So once they find everything appropriate, they will give an approval and your message will be approved. Once your message is approved, only then you can send it out as a broadcast to your customers. For some reason, if WhatsApp rejects your message or they do not approve it, in that case, you cannot send the broadcast message out. You will have to create a new message and get it approved. Every message first has to be approved by WhatsApp. Only then you can send it out. This is a mandatory thing. Now, I'll show you how you can create your broadcast message. You can start from scratch or you can use some of our pre-existing templates. Let me just show you how a broadcast message looks like when you create one. Whenever you're creating a broadcast message, you will have to name it something. You will have to choose a category in which it belongs. You can choose your own language. Whichever language you want to create your broadcast in, you can create choose a language. You can choose a header. If you want the heading of your broadcast, what you want it to be. Do you want it to be an image, a video, a document, whatever you want, you can choose that. You can choose the body of your broadcast. Whatever you want the body of your broadcast to be, it can show up here. You can also add footer options and you can also add buttons. You must have seen a lot of broadcast messages have button options. You can create your own button options and a preview of your broadcast will show up here. If you are satisfied with your broadcast, if this is what you want it to be like, you can simply submit your broadcast broadcast message to WhatsApp. Once it's submitted, once it's approved, you can start sending your broadcast message to your customers. So this is how you can send broadcast messages using Wati. Coming to automations, in Wati, you can do a lot of automations as well. First kind of automation is default action. Here what happens is you will give us your working hours. Let's say your team is working every day from 9 to 5. Your team logs in at 9, logs out at 5. What if a customer sends you a message after that? What if a customer sends you a message at midnight or any odd hour? If you give us your working hours, our software will automatically detect that your team is not working right now. And we will instantly send a response to your customer saying something like, hi, sorry, we are unavailable at this time. Please reach out to us during such and such hours. So we can send automated messages based on your working hours. We can also send automated messages based on certain keywords. Just like I showed you here in the chat, Anytime a customer is using a particular keyword, an automated response can be sent. 
So you can decide what is that keyword. Maybe somebody says hi, hello. You want to send a welcome message, so your keyword is hello or hi. Similarly, somebody asks you for pricing, costing. You can choose your own keyword. You can choose your own response to it. Any time our system detects that keyword, we can take that appropriate response. So you can choose the keyword, and we can take an action against that keyword. But third and the most important automation is called the flow builder or the chat bot builder. In Vati, we give you the ability to create your own chat bots. We give you free chat bots. Anyone can use it to create automated responses in WhatsApp. We have chat bots available for different business categories with different business types. I'll quickly show you what a chat bot looks like in Vati. You can use chatbots very easily. Anyone can create a chatbot in the Vati platform, and within Vati itself, you can build the chatbot in any language. Let me quickly show you an example of what the chatbots look like. We have sample chatbots from many different regions, many different industries. I'll just show you an example of an e-commerce bot. Let's say you are an e-commerce business. You have a website. You have hundreds of WhatsApp messages coming to you every day. Instead of a human agent replying to those messages, you can have a chat bot. Any time customer sends you a WhatsApp message, you can have a chat bot reply to them. So bot you can build and bot can reply to each of those messages automatically. I'll show you how the bot is going to reply and how you can build your own chat bot very easily. Just give me one second. I'll show you what the chat bots look like. In Vati, we give you your own drawing board. You can build your own chat board here. Now, let me give you an example. If a customer sends you a message, you can start by saying something like, "Hi, welcome to our store." Then ask a follow-up question: What would you like to do? Place order, track order, review store. What do you want to do? Give the customer multiple options. If the customer chooses option one, what should be the response? If they choose option two, what should be the response? If they choose option three, what should be the response? You can decide what are the next steps going to be. You can pre-decide the entire conversation, and this full conversation will be automated. This is called a chat bot. You can create your own options. You can easily drag and drop. This is a chat bot, fully automated. You can make it in any language, any time. Customer chooses any of these options, automatic replies will be sent to them. So this entire conversation is fully automated. You have pre-created, pre-set the responses for your customers, and automatically those responses are being followed by uh, the WhatsApp chat bot. So this is the example of a chat bot. At the end of our session today you will be getting some videos which we will share with you on how to build a chatbot we'll share some of those links you can check them out but chatbot building is very easy anyone can build a chatbot you don't need to have any technical skills and this is completely free available in vati and lastly in the vati platform you have a dashboard where we give you full fledged analytics you can look at the performance of your business in vati under dashboard you will be able to see let's say in the last 7 days how many messages you got of them how many are open how many are still pending how many got resolved you can see each day what's the status of your messages how many conversations you have had with your customer how many of them did were customer initiated how many were business initiated you initiated them what are the total number of conversations you have had this will give you an estimation of your costing you can also see each day what's the incoming message volume like you can see all of this you can also see how many employees are working for you out of all the employees that work for you what's the first response time somebody replies in 20 seconds another person is taking 50 seconds to reply you will see all of this you can also see how many employees are actually solving your chats how many chats are still pending or how many got expired you can see this entire performance over here in the vati software analytics so this is the vati software so many things you can do from one single place in vati this is the vati dashboard um we'll be taking some questions now anyone having any questions you can ask your questions to us and we'll be answering all of your questions now